um, because I'm kind of trying to learn mono green in standard and some time so I'm like platinum there also but it takes some time of course uh, from grinding limited and from getting as good at the format as possible this kind really needs some lands um, and without them we're kind of fucked but I have a 2 drop, if I didn't have this I would definitely not keep it but we are on the draw, we have a 2 drop at least and any land um, is gonna help us so that's why I'm gonna keep it <coughs> Ludwig Ooh, that a card. That is not a card I see often. Uh, X creature cards from your graveyard. Transform him can be X can be zero, okay? And when he transforms, he's a four four. Except he's a copy of that creature, so it has its abilities. In addition, uh, put a number of one one counters into the number of creatures exiled. But it's like two four, at least five mana before he can activate it for one even. Mm. Interesting. I only played it against it once so far and I never got to play with it. And the time I played against it, the opponent spent his whole turn exiling a few things and then I just revenge the drowned it, bouncing it with his hand. And he, I think, surrendered immediately after that. <laughs> because he kinda. Uh, it was too much of a tempo swing. We have one revenge on drowned in the deck. That's also a problem. Mm, yeah. I could try double blocking it, but I'm kind of scared of uh, the opportunist, to be honest. We kind of want our fifth. But Startle can get us to the land. I think I'm gonna still take the land. Really don't want to miss it because we, because we now we have two uh, other plays on five. Does he have something for like? Does he just want to draw a card from this or what? There's nothing for one blue except a bounce spell. So I'm turning it off. Sure, you draw a card, but we get rid of Ludwig. I think that would be more of a problem for us. Do mm. so I want to just get this back? I don't think so. Like, there is an argument to be said for just um, getting this out before our opponent gets our fifth land and exiles it from the graveyard, but I don't know. It, this could be like that he has a blade brand or something stupid, but he could just be cashing it in for some for a card. So I'm gonna, he's gonna get a card anyway, so I'm just gonna take it to damage. I guess he's looking uh, for uh, a land or something. I think we, we were on the play, right? So 
He just didn't. He could have not played the land yet. I think he has a removal for the Burly Breaker. Mm, no land. Huh? Now I'm definitely flashing this in back. This guy we should be on the flyer, I guess. Probably the flyer, because the flyer is... Uh, this guy is big enough by himself. I can just be chumped like the um, breaker can doesn't have trample, so he can just be chumped even one power more or less. So better to put it on the the flyer. Yeah, but the opponent definitely sacrificed the, um, the zombie to try to get the fifth land, which he could not get. That's why he was also willing to trade this off because it would take forever before he would get it activated. Got there. Couldn't uh, he stumbled a bit too much? We got a win. Nice, already four one. Where did that happen? Nice, nice. Um, well, already we've kind of covered the whole draft, which is good. Uh, but let's try to go for the trophy, I guess. <coughs> okay, so let's get the next one. Let's get five wins. But the four wins you almost already covered the uh, expenses of the draft to get 1400 gems back and the cost is 1500 which is like 50 cents you pay for it basically so nothing and actually if we win one more we start getting that we start to actually accumulate gems four drop four drop combat trick combat trick might just need to use startle if they have a fast start to cycle through the deck a bit. Mm, we'll see. A lot of fast starts. We're, we are kind of lacking in the 2 and 3 drops. Um, okay, the 3 drops not really, but in 2 drops definitely. And it shows that we have a quite a slow start. I think they'll just flash it in later. Try to play around. I don't even know what. No, I think I'm just gonna play it now because in case he has a counter spell next turn. Like I'm not gonna ambush anything, so might as well play it out now. That I could have ambushed, but still just straight off anyway. I'm just gonna block it. I could have untapped, played this, but he would just tap it down. Uh, so I'm okay if he's going to trade it. play this guy. Like this guy would not even block well. This way he at least needs to tap out if he wants me if he wants to attack into it. I wish I had some fight effects in the deck. That's what we're really lacking. We have some bounce, we have some combat tricks, but like stuff that's not gonna attack, like the Gavany Trapper, it's really hard for us to get off the board. And we just kinda need to Pressure the opponent out. Wow. 
Sure, got it. Position to be in. Um, let's see. Next one, he. If I do attack, he takes four, and he gives this double strike and takes me for seven. Plus he has 4 mana up. I think I don't think it is used to, to um, tap it down. But yeah, this is not a game where likely winning. This guy is just a beating if your opponent. Um, if he has a coven and if your opponent doesn't have removal, that guy can just take over the game. And fortunately we're exactly that. Like We don't have removal, he has coven. That's even better because even if I kill it, he doesn't get it back. Okay, this game already snowballed too much out of control. Like we don't have any good attack blocks even. any way for us to win this game really. We could play this and this and like tap this down but it's still it's just a triggered ability it's not even anything uh, like if that he needs some tap with it. Nothing like he kind of nothing special like he's playing like a bunch of commas and commas. He didn't even need to play this guy he was right in a leading position just because of the start. Mm, kind of our bit awkward draw. Two drop, another two drop, four drop, uh, removal on a creature, five drop flyer, and then when this gets fly, the try a double strike, just like. this flat double strike next turn so we need to bounce it or bounce this but this takes our whole turn so we could also tap it down for a turn Flips, so he plays two spells, he flips back and exiles again something. 
and worth to pay three lives. We both have first strike and block, we don't want to trade with this. I'm just kidding in the air anyway. And he didn't play any spells, so he's just gonna flip. No, he just used this. I need to he needed to play two to flip it. My bad. But yeah, I'm on three lives right now, he can tap down something. Two creatures. Mm. No, still dead. Still dead, can't get there. <coughs> he had uh, too much combination of everything. Okay, that was a bit of an unfortunate one. Uh, the opponent had a really good deck. We kind of, I guess, we were a bit too slow out of the gate. Shows that we didn't have much of an early game. Uh, and he just kind of got us on every axis possible. <laughs> yeah, we still have a good, good score so far. Mm, the uh, hand is okay. One drop, two drop. Probably draw a land by then. To play one of these things. Look at this beautiful island. Look at it. Look at it. I played a pickle zombie and passed my turn. I play Observer and pass my turn. Mm. Mm. I was gonna just play this. If he has a burn spell now, he flips the guy into a 3-3. Three, three. Um, which is of course a problem, but I guess he does not have it. Mm. I played the fourth land and this. Do we want this guy? I 
don't think so. I'm not gonna play until I play the Hoarder because he could have just a counter spell up. Um, yeah, can can help it there. He flips that guy. I need to try to ambush it now. Like, um, uh, he has something. Fuck it. He has it. Yeah, okay. Um, like, I could take. Let it die. And then block it here, but I'd rather just take one and get another activation out of the zombie. I think I'll still keep it. Even though I need the land for it. I'll get the land like this. looking for lands again as well. Do I just cash it in now? No, I don't think so. And Delver, huh? He discarded Delver too. I guess he put it into the graveyard from that. I 
we could get him like by tapping down his things a bit. Mm, since he's kinda screwed on lands, he doesn't have the burn the accursed yet. He would have like a revenge on the trance. Sure. That way he's not uh, just dead, yeah. I want to keep hitting my lands now. Or something. And I have uh, three little threads and I can... Um, Tap one of his guys again. Mm, I tapped on a blocker, he still dies, right? Okay, what was that? Five, win number five? Can we get two more? Yeah, number five, nice, nice. Actually, the deck's doing pretty well, as long as the opponents are not super aggressive or have like a really super synergistic draws. Um, we can just get there, yeah. Against a white decks a lot uh, lately. Like you, at the start of the format, you were playing against blue black constantly. Now you're, you seem to be playing against blue white mostly. Oh boy, we saw how this game went before. It's like really, really common on, in the high ranks um, lately. Getting one once every turn, huh? Combo. 
Like he could have Blessed Defiance. It's also just a free attack for him. That kind of wrecks it. I think I just do it now before he gets too much value out of it. Got rid of the creature and the enchantment. because we are, we just need a removal. I think this might be actually the correct pick. Um, start drawing like a bunch of cards. Can we just use the blessing on um, like on this guy, for example? I don't think I can actually do both, right? This can be so right, yeah. Let me just put this on this. Maybe on this guy.
the next thing. Next one we can just flash them back. Tape down a blocker, the soul keeper can can only block which was with flying. I think we might have we might have gotten this boys. I think we might have won this. Yeah sure he has cards so he can um, spend his whole turn getting rid of this and tapping another one. He knew he couldn't get there. Nice. Okay, we're one win away. One win away from a trophy. Back to back, six wins. Whew, I, I had a draft yesterday that the team were in well to six wins. Barely lost, like now in the final in the finals. Uh, yeah, let's do this. We got this. Let's get a trophy. Okay, let's see what our opponent's gonna have. <clears throat> Not an amazing start, unfortunately. And we're on the. I still don't think you can mulligan a uh, hand that's um, kind of decent. Like any third land will help us cast this, and any two lands then more more stuff. I think we need to keep it and just hope that uh, we draw the third land. It would be, it would suck to lose in the finals like that, but not drawing the third land. But who am I kidding? We did it. We got him, boys. We got there. I'm gonna try to ambush it. Do we get punished? Kinda. Kind. The answer is kinda. Punk had the answer for it. Really. Mm. I guess we just dig for more more lands. I guess we're just gonna train them. Does he have a play with fire? Really? Because that's the only spell for one red I can think of. But I guess he won't just trade it off. Mm. I think we're gonna trade it off because our opponent seems to be more aggressive. Okay, so they can go off resources. Hmm. We 
we have the option of killing it like that. The range of the drowning it. And we have one green also. So these two are just death cards. If you'll allow, I'll trade it off. No. That second forest. We bid two of them, but I still think that was the correct move at that spot. another forest so I start chaining the ants. Oh, come on. It's not a bad card, of course not, but come on, don't look. It's like I'm, I'm moving to five with these cards in hand. Kind of too bad that our last game is not very interactive from our side. Uh, because we don't have the second forest that we need so much. But the game is not over yet. this and then this and this. I don't know. Obviously he's in colors where he could have a bunch of removal so that just um, destroys us but we need to do something. Since we're kind of screwed on the, uh, on the mana one has a perfect split of 4-4 four, four. because he can also use the forager so he could uh, set up his draws a bit better oh, that was, if I didn't block I was just dead yeah 
If I do it like this, I'm just dead. <sighs> I still I lose the whole board like this and I go to one. <sighs> so close. I mean, what a what a crazy draw the our opponent had. Like, come on, really. What an insane deck. Like he had a answer from turn three turn three, yeah. Almost got there. Almost got there. Well, it was a good one. We were super close to getting to uh, getting the trophy. We were just one win away. It kind of hurt. Not gonna lie, that was. Um, it was too bad that our opponent had a really amazing draw and a really good uh, deck, and we kind of stumbled on mana right at the end. Uh, but I think we did everything we could, like, sure, maybe, we, I don't know if I could have played this game differently, we could have played um, previous ones differently to maybe not lose uh, the first two times. Uh, let's see, let's at least open some packs, let's see what we get. I have almost the whole set already, so um, mostly this is just going to be filling up the vault, so let's get it to 400%. <laughs> Um, I have all the cards I need for standards uh, because I open so many so many packs. Mm, but it's still nice to have it, like to fill it up completely. I should just press the button, uh, open ten. I think like now I'm gonna solely have playset of everything except the uh, Lydix because I just opened. Uh, of course you. Only open stuff that you don't have a place at yet. Mm, and I have like two of every mythic because I can just have too many wild cards. Like this card, yeah. I would love to play with that card once. I think I opened it maybe once in 25 drafts. Uh, let's see. Are we up to the mythics already? Mythic Massacre. I think that's gonna be a good one to, to finish off this then. If you like the content, uh, don't forget to leave me a like, it really helps the channel grow and to get it more recognized. Uh, if you want to keep following me, what I'm doing, um, leave me a subscribe or a comment, uh, what do you think about draft. Um, let me know that you came to the end, and that's it, have a nice day!